Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 413. Neurotransmitters. What condition causes an increase in norepinephrine and what condition causes a decrease in norepinephrine? Norepinephrine is increased in anxiety and decreased in depression. What is the location of norepinephrine synthesis? Norepinephrine is synthesized from locus ceruleus, which is in the pons. What is the physiological response of locus ceruleus? The physiological response of locus ceruleus is in stress and panic. What condition causes an increase in dopamine? Increase in dopamine happens in schizophrenia. What condition causes a decrease in dopamine? Dopamine is decreased in Parkinson's and in depression. What is the location of dopamine synthesis? Dopamine synthesis occurs in the ventral tegmentum and in the substantia nigra, which is in the midbrain. What are some of the conditions that lead to a decrease in serotonin, also known as 5-HT? Decrease in serotonin happens in anxiety and in depression. What is the location of serotonin synthesis? Serotonin synthesis occurs in the RAF nucleus of the pons. What condition causes an increase in acetylcholine? Acetylcholine is increased in REM sleep. What conditions causes a decrease in acetylcholine? Acetylcholine is decreased in Alzheimer's and it's decreased in Huntington's. What is the location of acetylcholine synthesis? Acetylcholine is synthesized from the basal nucleus of Maynard. What are some of the conditions that leads to a decrease in GABA? Decrease in GABA occurs in anxiety and in Huntington's. What is the location of GABA synthesis? GABA is synthesized from the nucleus accumbens. What is the physiological response of nucleus accumbens and septal nucleus? Nucleus accumbens and the septal nucleus is part of the pleasure centers and it plays an important role in reward, pleasure, addiction, and fear. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.